Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. From the past video tutorial, we are discussing layout design by using table versus div tags or web page layout design using table versus div tags. In the previous video tutorial, we have created two web pages. One is layout design using table and we created a table with some content. Similarly, we created one more HTML page which is going to be layout using div tag and that looks something like this, quite simple. Now we proceed further. You can see we created a table which is having the width of 100%, border of 1 pixel, cell spacing 0 pixel and it has a content main container in the table. I am going to proceed further. As we know that we can create or nest one table inside another table. This is how we do that. I create a table, opening table and a closing table. As I told, this table is going to be main container for our all next tables. So this table goes inside this table. Now it is going to be identified as ID H E A D E R header. This table is going to become header of our web page. This is going to have one table row, closing table row and it is going to have one TD, closing TD and in this I am going to write H E A D E R header. So we are creating one more table. This is going to have few attributes. First thing width I am going to set to 100% double quotation. Let's see how it looks. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the table got created and it has a border also with the width set to 100%. Now I set few more properties. I am going to say here H E I G H T height. It is going to have 50 pixels, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the height got increased to 50 pixels. Similarly, I am going to add few more properties to it. It is going to have BG color equal to BLACK black, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the table has the black color set to. You can see that text is not getting displayed. So I use at present font color white and here I say closing font tag, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see this is how it looks now. Let's proceed further and perform some more operations. First thing you can see here we have a space between border and the content. You can easily see that. What I do is I am going to set the border first, border equal to 0 pixel. It is not going to have any border. This border is a outside border. So I am going to set this also 0 pixel. This table has border 1 pixel so I am setting it to 0 pixel. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we don't have any border now. Let's proceed further. Also I am going to set if anything is needed. For example I can say cell spacing equal to 0 pixel. If I add later any TDs then there will be a space between two TDs. I do not want that. That is the reason I am putting cell spacing also 0. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is going to be our table header. Same thing we can perform with respect to div also. How do we do that? So I hope you guys have understood this part without any doubt. Now same operation we are going to do in this page which is layout using div tag.html page. I am going to remove this main container and here I am going to create one more div tag closing div and this div is going to have a id header. Quite simple you can see. If you are comparing both of them, you can see that I am con converting the table to div in this place. That's it. And then inside this div, I am going to write H E A D E R header text I have written. And then I am going to apply some styles on it. Style in double quotation. First thing I set width is equal to 100%. And second thing, as we know that these are styles, I have to use colon instead of equal to sign 100% semicolon. Then here I am going to say height H E I G H T height of 50 pixel double quotation. Similarly, I am going to say here background dash C O L O R color of B L A C K black semicolon double quotation. As it is CSS, I must and should use colon instead of equal to sign. Width 100% semicolon height 50 pixel semicolon background color black semicolon. File save. And also you can see we have border of 2 pixels set here. I am going to remove that because it is not required now. 
we don't need border around the header so file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have similar kind of a look only thing is header is not getting visible here so i use a font tag again f o n t font color of white double quotation greater than sign closing font tag file save go to browser and refresh you can see the header is visible but header is not center aligned over here you can see that but here the v align or vertical alignment is in the middle but that is not necessary for us to modify at present if we want we can do that also by using a attribute called as so here i am going to add padding padding dash top i add uh, 10 pixels so when i add padding top 10 pixels then you can see what happens file save go to browser and refresh quite height incremented you can see that the reason is we know that the height should be overall height of the div should be 50 pixels so i have to reduce it to 40 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see now i think quite okay i think i need to increase more padding top so i set padding 20 pixels or maybe 15 pixels i set this is going to be then uh, 35 pixels 35 pixels file save go to browser and refresh quite down i think those are perfect now you can see that hope you guys have understood how do we create a header by using table and how do we create a header by using the div tag what modifications we need to do the sum of these two should be equal to 50 pixel because we know that padding also considered in box model to calculate the height of the div element so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information and we proceed further in creating layout for more benefits please subscribe and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much